Flash Freeze, Dimitar Berbatov. Cold-blooded in front of goal and cool under pressure, Dimitar Berbatov was best friends with big moments. Like an iceberg, his serene exterior on the pitch expertly hid what was underneath the surface, a brilliant footballing mind quietly calculating his next move. Though he played with ice in his veins, Flash Freeze never froze in the face of top competition. He proved this early in his career, leading Bayer Leverkusen to a UEFA Champions League final at the age of just 21. By the time he hung up his boots, Berbatov was a two-time Premier League champion, a golden boot winner, and one of the most graceful strikers to ever take the pitch. The effortless ultimate team hero, Berbatov achieved greatness without breaking a sweat. Bombardier, Sonia Bompaster, heroes don't believe in barriers. For Sonia Bompaster, that meant disregarding the wall of defenders between her and the goal. Her ferocious free kicks blazed past all who tried to stop them, lighting bolts fired right into the top corner. Her double against PSG in 2011-12 epitomized Bombardier's marksmanship, one electric free kick and another thunderous hit that crashed off of the crossbar on its way past a helpless keeper. The picture of consistency, Bompaster lifted the D1 Arkema title in every single season she played for Olympique Lyonnais, an unbelievable six times, while also enjoying three UWCL titles, including two in a row. A true ultimate team hero, Bompaster always stood up for her teammates by standing over every free kick and striking fear into all who stood in her way. Agent Maka, Steve McManaman, hero, galactico, gentleman. Steve McManaman was pure class, a refined footballer whose elegant approach to the game saw him retire as one of the most decorated Englishmen of his era. A Swiss army knife in midfield, McManaman adapted to any assignment. And a secret weapon for Real Madrid, Agent Maca effortlessly slipped behind enemy lines to spy opportunities for his teammates. His crowning achievement was a sublime volley, leaping from the shadows and into the spotlight to score and secure the 2000 UEFA Champions League title for Real Madrid. McManaman completed almost every mission he was sent on, winning double-digit trophies in his prolific career. You can look past the glass in his trophy cabinet to see all the glittering silverware he won but you can't look past the class that made him an ultimate team hero. The Arctic Soldier, John Arne Reese. The opposition doesn't always know a hero's power until it's too late. That's how it was for John Arne Reese, a marauding left back with a devastating secret. His left leg was borderline bionic, a cannon that fired shots goalward with punishing power. Underestimate him as an unassuming fullback, and you'd find yourself picking the ball out of your own net as he wheeled off to celebrate yet another explosive free kick. It was Reese's rocket-powered left foot that launched Liverpool's comeback hopes in the famous miracle of Istanbul in 2005. Assisting the first goal to reignite the Reds' title ambitions in what became the most famous UEFA Champions League final comeback in history, the Arctic Soldier was a powerful reminder. No goal at any distance is safe from an ultimate team hero. The Motor, Ramirez. Being a hero often means being exceptional at one thing. Being Ramirez meant excelling at everything. Box to box he went, running every phase of the game, expertly reading attackers, endlessly pursuing opponents, effortlessly carrying the ball forward. And just when you thought you'd seen every facet to his game, he'd add another. His unforgettable chip in the UEFA Champions League epitomized his ever-evolving abilities, hanging in the air for an age before dropping in behind the keeper, it was a goal that any striker would be proud to call their best ever. But for Ramirez, it was just another part of being an incredibly versatile player. He made sure his trophy cabinet was just as well-rounded, housing every domestic honor in England, alongside a UEFA Champions League title he hoisted with Chelsea in 2011-12. Ramirez proved that there's more to being an ultimate team hero than being the best around. It's being the best all around. Tricky Beast Demarcus Beasley was the type of lightning that always strikes the same place twice. The picture of consistency, Beasley was as pacey as he was reliable, bursting down the left wing match after match. Everything he did, he did for the team, matching his crafty running with a tireless work rate that made him a nightmare for the opposition. Grab at him and he'd slip away, dive into a challenge and he'd dodge the tackle, wait for him to make his move, and he'd already be gone. A pioneer, Beasley was the first American men's footballer to play in a UEFA Champions League semi-final, leading PSV Eindhoven in goals during their historic run in Europe. 
And though he was gone in a blink of an eye on the pitch, Beasley had staying power, playing in a record four World Cups for the US. That's an ultimate team hero, born to be fast and built to last. Fast future, Paolo Futre, heroes never quit. So when physical defenders, injury setbacks, and club transitions tried and failed to stand in the way of Paulo Futre, he kept moving forward. His speed was explosive and his momentum was unstoppable, driving him towards the goal and his goals throughout his nomadic career. Futre led FC Porto to several league titles and even raced to the top of the European ladder in 1986-87, lifting the European Cup with a player of the match performance. From there, Fast Future let nothing stand in his way, speeding past centre-backs and touring the world, playing for clubs in Portugal, France, Italy, England, Spain, and even Japan. His ability to dash away from obstacles made it impossible to keep him in one place for long. But as an ultimate team hero, he remains in the hearts of fans forever. Captain Company, Vincent Company. In a dressing room full of heroes, Vincent Company would wear the armband. Strong in a challenge and synonymous with the captaincy, Company was Manchester City through and through. Company understood the game and overpowered his opponents, able to expertly organize his defense with his elite football IQ and become a one-man brick wall with the match on the line. His decade of leadership forever changed the citizens' trajectory, guiding the club into the upper echelons of English football with four Premier League titles and a host of domestic cups. He also led City to Europe's biggest stage, captaining their first ever campaign in the UEFA Champions League. A great captain leads their teammates to glory. Company led his whole club to greatness, a leader even among ultimate team heroes. 